Welcome back to Ballheaded Metal, guys. My name is Joseph. Today, we're going to be reacting to Legion of the Damned song, Slaughtering the Pigs. Now, I have heard of this band. I can't remember if I listened to an album or two. And if I have, it's been such a long time ago, I don't even remember. Uh, but I do, do, I do recognize the name. And this has actually been requested by one of you guys. And I thought I wanted to do something different than another different band that I haven't done on this channel. So it'll be interesting to react to them and see what's going on. All you can expect now is I'm going to be 100% honest how I feel in this moment in time. I can potentially change my opinion later on, but again, it's just my in-the-moment reaction. I'll try to pause the least amount of times that I can, but uh, whenever I have this overwhelming feeling like I need to say something, that's when I usually pause. This next one is called... Slaughtering the <laughs> This is like a perfect moshing song and just like slaughtering people in the pit. <laughs> I can't believe they're not showing like the footage of the pit, just people going crazy. Hopefully they're going crazy. Uh, this thrash metal speaks to my heart. Thrash metal is my favorite genre of heavy metal. And so far this intro of them just like just going for it. Hopefully the rest of the song keeps that rhythm up and keeps that energy up. I love this song. What I don't love is the singer. I, I <laughs> or the vocalist or whatever. I, I don't think he adds anything to this band. Um, and that happens a lot in heavy metal. I would say in death metal, it happens especially a lot in thrash metal because a lot of it is like thrash, like garage bands uh, that want to write music and they have something to play, something to say sometimes, but they don't have the vocal ability. Uh, and they don't necessarily take a lot of lessons to really develop a unique vocal style. Like I, I like Rob Dukes from Exodus. Uh, well, that was their second singer. Now they have their original singer back or second singer back. Uh, I like Slayer, Tom Mariah. I like Max Cavalera from Sepultura. James Hetfield, arguably, is probably the best thrash metal voice because he can both sing, growl, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. Uh, Phil from Pantera. Um, yeah, I like these kind of very commanding voices in heavy metal and in thrash metal in particular. Warbringer from new bands. I like Warbringer. I like Vector and that black death metal, uh, black uh, metal like voice that he has in Vector. I like Havoc. Um, but this guy's voice is just like 
it's just there. And thankfully the music is so good that I can get past the voice. pit story really quick uh i had a curse about going to mosh pits for a one year straight i'm telling you about one year straight so that's about 15 concerts uh, i would get punched in the face full force the first second i go into a mosh pit i'm telling you every single time that happened uh i would just get blasted in the face now i don't mind getting thrown across i don't mind get dropped when i'm trying to uh crowd surf I don't mind anything on any of those things, but just like the punch man wasn't fun. One time actually on an Overkill concert, I was supposed to have an Overkill concert and the next day I went to Scorpions. Uh, at the Overkill concert, I didn't want a mosh pit because I knew I had to go to work the next day, so I wanted to be responsible, right? And I got elbowed in the face on the outside of the pit, full force with so much, I had a black eye. I'm a personal trainer, so I was training my clients with a huge black eye. I mean, I couldn't open my eye. It was so bad. And everybody's like, did you get into a fight? I'm like, I, that sounds better than the real story. Actually, some guy just tripped and elbowed the shit out of my eye. <laughs> and then I went to Scorpions the next day with a big black eye, and everybody kept giving me looks, thought I was like a, some troublemaker or something. <laughs> the song i think i think the song is fun a little simple uh a little simple for my taste i would like something some kind of a change like even like for example sepultura beneath the remains i can't say it's the most technical album ever written but there's there's a reason why it's such a big album and because some of the transitions some of the solos some of the moments that never repeat again like stronger than hate uh it just had these moments that kind of like put it over the edge being like this is an absolutely fantastic song and this song this particular song just kind of had the same rhythms going for it throughout that never elevated it to the point of where like this is some legendary song i've never heard about but it is a solid thrash song and i love those uh, i was banging you saw me having head banging the whole time i really enjoyed it i think it was fun i would like to hear another legion of the dance song if you guys know like a good maybe slightly more progressive song like some of their best from their best albums i would like to hear from you guys uh let's see what you could be able to recommend and then hopefully you enjoyed this reaction and if you did make sure to subscribe down below for more so you can see more on this channel and guys keep it metal out there enjoy the rest of your day and have a good one